Right now, we've got Lorraine Snyder Hanley and Linda Kay. Mother, daughter. Uh, Lorraine's 90. She immigrated from Ukraine. Her and her daughter they wrote a best selling book called Miracles on My Doorstep Immigrating to America Faith Finds Freedom. Uh, you're going to want to pick this up. Uh, I, I assume wherever you can find uh, books, like a little place called Amazon. I, is it on Amazon, Lorraine and Linda? It is, but you can also find it on our website for just a little bit less money at miraclesonmydoorstep.com. And we have uh, another gift, a nice little bonus for our listeners that they will be given a playlist. We curated a playlist of, of songs to go with each chapter that I oh, think wow. really um, fit, um, fit appropriately. You know, when we wrote the book, um, it was really designed to be consumed a chapter at a time. You know, uh, like uh, if you were sitting in a doctor's office and waiting to see the doctor. Remember when you could do that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh, it was really kind of designed in that regard. And so every chapter opens with a meme with a, with a scripture that is um, specific to the chapter and the topic. But um, mom felt that, you know, because she's a musician, she wanted to have that, that joy of being able to continue the gift of the message through music. And so every, every chapter has a curated song for it. So that's available um, only on the website. Um, again, miraclesonmydoorstep.com. So wow. Yes, it's available. And we also have it available for a download if you want to do a download um, there or um, – uh, as uh, mom says, uh, it's got to be on CD so my blind community can have it, or the unsighted community. So you could get that as well. Wow! Did uh, are there any Coldplay songs on the uh, on this on the playlist? <laughs> <laughs> she was watching me when I when I put it together. She was she, <laughs> she watches me, so you know as much as I'd like to put something in, you know she's she's paying attention. <laughs> All right. Well, tell what are, what's on the tell us some of the songs on the playlist. We want we want to know. Well, I got to share one song that uh, Linda helped me co-write years ago, uh, back in '75 when her father was uh, dying of cancer. Um, I was grieving pretty hard one night, and uh, I got a message in my head: "You haven't thanked me." What? What? What, what do you mean? You haven't thanked me for what's going on in your life. So I went to my Bible and was reading and crying and reading, and all of a sudden I went and walked over to the piano and began to play a song. It's called Thank You, Jesus. And then the message goes, Thank you, Jesus, for the tests and trials here. Your great love has brought me through my fears. And it goes on, and that's one of the songs. And then there's a song at the very end of this playlist, so that's one of our gospel group singers, I played for a gospel group for a number of years, uh, the gospel group singers uh, will be singing, He Look Beyond My Thought and Saw My Need. So, and Linda, you tell the other songs. Oh, no, can't do that, because that would be a spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> but you you will recognize a lot of songs, you know, from, from Bill Gaither Trio to... Uh, to um, uh, many gospel, well, you're just going to recognize a whole lot of gospel songs and uh, modern and contemporary as well as some some traditional. All right. I love that. That's great. Hey, I'm curious. Do you, you know, we talked yesterday uh, on the program, you know, and I mentioned that I, uh, I, I really hadn't paid much attention to over the years to some of the uh, you know, political ramifications, international affairs between Russia and Ukraine. And, and of course, you know, just some folks here were like, okay, what, what, what is happening here? You know, we're, we're not totally sure. Do you have any particular insights of, of what, you know, as people who come from, um, you know, that part of the world, any particular insights of what's going on? Um, well, I, I, I think that a lot of it is going back to the, what happened 75, 100 years ago. People seem to repeat the same mistakes. A lot of it is poor leadership in the government. A lot of it is um, 
if you even think, let's just use an example of a life that's going quite smooth. We really don't need the Lord during that time. We don't need any help during that time. We can make it on our own. Aren't we doing grand? Well, that's just kind of the way the Ukraine is. When, when they were given their independence 50 years ago, they got lackadaisical, and they began to depend on mankind. And it goes back to what do we depend on, ourselves or God? So they're repeating some of the same mistakes that were made 75 years ago, 100 years ago. You can't. You can't. Go ahead, Linda. I have a, a slightly different uh, viewpoint about that, but maybe that's just the, gen- the generational difference. Um, right. I, think, I think that um, it's, there, there are several things going on. I, I would agree with you, Mom, that there is, you know, a lack of good leadership and solid leadership when there was opportunity to join NATO and and you, saw, right. you know, the position that Putin's taken um, that. You can step back and stand back and don't meddle with us because if you meddle with with me, you're in trouble. You know the the rumblings and the behavior is shocking on on a on a world level that many Absolutely. of us don't understand because if there was an agreement that between sovereignty sovereignty between Russia and Ukraine, why isn't um, Putin being held accountable uh, for his decision to say, no, it doesn't really apply. I didn't make that agreement, so I'm, I don't have to do it. Um, I think that's pretty shocking on every level, but, um, you know, moreover, he looks at this and says, okay, you're been, we're going back to the USSR. <laughs> so you may have gained independence. And that goes right back to my, my statement earlier about if you've, experienced, um, if you've experienced freedom, do you really want to get back in the box? And, you know, as much as um, there was opportunity for Ukraine to, you know, Ukraine decides, you know, um, desires to join the EU and to have NATO, if they had become a part of NATO, and this was Putin's biggest fear, was that if they are part of NATO and I attack, then I'm attacking anybody that is a member of NATO. And that, is, I think, is really important that um, there was a significant uh, position that he was going to take on it. But... Uh, because they've leaned more towards Western values, um, he has looked at this and said, well, you know, you guys have some resources there we'd like to have. And we also don't like you talking in, in the regard to, in, in the way that you are, so why don't we just attack you? And in, in a big, big way, you look at this and go, guy's a bully. Well, yeah, he is, but on a grander scale, what this is telling us all um, on a world basis is, it isn't just it isn't just Russia that is looking at this. It isn't just Russia that will take this position if they're successful. Take a look at what else is going on around the world, and you can it's, you don't have to go very far to go look at China and China's position with Taiwan, China's position with Hong Kong. So you know I, I think that in in a way that many of us don't understand, if you make an agreement, why did you break it? And what are the consequences to it? And if there aren't consequences to it, then that sends a, a green light signal to any despot or dictator around the world. Yeah, let's go for it. Mm. Yeah. So I still think I mean, we have to remember that if you don't have God at the very top and you're just looking for leaders, with, have, they might have the best leadership skills in the world. But if God is not in the center of that, there's going to be an argument and there's going to be disagreement. Take a family. A family doesn't have agreement even if they're walking in the Lord. Does that does a husband and wife agree 100% of the time? No, but they do work their problems out logically. Where this is what's happening, I believe, in the Ukraine. There's too many leaders and not a, there's too many chiefs and not enough Indians, as the old saying goes. So, um, there's too many people giving their input. And that the input is not always good. Yeah. Lorraine Snyder Hanley and Linda Kay, we really appreciate you coming on the program today. What a what a joy. And uh, we really appreciate you taking the time. The book is called Miracles on My Doorstep, Immigrating to America, Faith Finds Freedom. Pick it up today. It's an inspiring book. You will not regret it. Lorraine and Linda, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. 
Thank you. Have a great day.